Hi, and welcome to a video with a little bit of a difference for us. Um, we're going to talk about how to pair beer with hot foods. Okay, so first and foremost, big, big thanks to a company called Beer52. Uh, links on the screen right now. They have very kindly sent us uh, an example uh, case of beer that you can get with their subscription service. And what we're going to do, we thought, well, it's quite a nice idea just to kind of talk about how you can make beer and spicy food, hot foods, work together. And we're going to look at it a couple of ways. One is on uh, accentuating and tempering, and the other is actually pairing the beer with the food itself. So without further ado, we're going to have a look at accentuating and tempering. Okay, so when it comes to uh, wanting to accentuate or temper the heat of a dish, beer can actually be quite a friendly thing to, to drink uh, alongside it. And uh, so what we've got in front of us, we've actually made uh, a gel frazy but with scotch bonnet, yeah. just to get that heat up a little bit. And there are ways you can look at uh, accentuating and tempering. Now, uh, I think for the purpose of this, we'll, we'll look at uh, tempering slightly because that's going to be fairly hot. Yeah. And the one we're going to use is actually, I'm going to cut in front of you, we're going to use the Yes IPA. So the reason we've selected this is based actually more than anything on its ABV. So when it comes to wanting to temper the heat of a dish, there is kind of a balance between not having anything that's too low alcohol or too high. Uh, effectively, they can have the adverse effects. So if it's too low in alcohol, it's not going to do much for you. If it's too high, it can actually accentuate it even, even more. So um, this particular IPA, which has come from, uh, I want to say, uh, where is it from? Estonia. Okay, so it's Baltics. Um, it's around about 5.5 ABV. So I would always suggest you want to look between about 5.5 and 6.5 for a comfortable uh, level of tempering uh, when it comes to uh, eating hot food. The other thing to bear in mind when it comes to beers is that like hop heavy, uh, like double IPAs or uh, like high IBU uh, beers, lagers, pilsers and so forth, again, they can actually accentuate the heat a little bit. So uh, whilst an IPA is okay, uh, you just got to be a little bit careful that it's not too bitter, not too hop heavy, and uh, that the ABV is about right. So based on what we've read on the bottle, we've not tried this beer before, no. um, it should work. So first things first, we're going to get stuck in with a bit of uh, bit of curry and scotch bonnet right on the top there. Um, oh jeez. There you go. Right, down here actually. We're going to chew this, and we'll cut back in a second and talk about the heat. So our mouths are sufficiently burning back of the throat as well. So as I say, we're looking to temper this. And we're going to try it with this uh, Yes IPA. So let's uh, give this a go, dude. That's rather nice. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not too um, hoppy or anything. It's quite That's nice. not hop heavy. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect for that kind of dish. So um, immediately that, that heat is starting just to, to, to dial back a bit, which is great. It's not overriding the flavors because we've got some great spices going on with gel frazy curry. Uh, but what it is doing is it's just helping level out that heat a little bit so we can kind of carry on and, and eat. That's, that's beautifully smooth. It is, and it's a nice co <laughs> color. It is a nice color as well. So that's, that, that's, yeah, that's a really perfect beer for just tempering. Um, and again, the IBUs, I think, are quite low on that. That's yeah. not a particularly bitter finish on that. I don't know what it is without researching it, but it's, it's not going to be too high, I don't think, for an IPA. Um, you could also look at something like a porter or, or even a stout, but you've got to be a little bit careful with those um, because they can be quite big on flavour and it kind of uh, almost like juxtaposed uh, the, the, the curry. So um, that, that's bang on. That's yeah. really good. So if you want to temper it, then something like this, um, like Beer 52, just pull a blinder with that one, that's great. Um, or yeah, use um, something around about five and a half, pushing sort of six and a half uh, ABV. And uh, right, so next up, we're gonna look at actually pairing it, or pairing these beers with a few foods. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we're going to just try um, a few different types of hot spicy foods that most people are familiar with and again just matching with some of the beers that Beer 52 have sent us. Uh, again links on your screen if you want to try um, anything that they do for yourself. Um, actually the offer they have with the link uh, on your screen or in the video description that is you can get actually your, your first case for free. Uh, you just pay postage or shipping which is around about 5 95 in the UK. Um, and then it's a subscription service they're on in so it isn't a case that you're just buying a free case and that's that. So do be a, bear in mind that it's, a, it's an ongoing subscription subscription um, but uh, they, they do a massive range and really interesting sort of themed cases and uh, you can do like just um, lighter beers or, or, or like IPA style beers yeah. or you can do mixed cases so it's pretty it's pretty cool stuff so do check it out anyway we're gonna uh, we're gonna try some hot wings hot wings is just one of our all-time faves and the one we've selected to go with this is I'm gonna reach across you again dude so uh, we've got a Cavesa de Burro or uh, I think that actually translates as like donkey beer <laughs> so but um, the, the style of beer, like Cavesa beers, uh, they can be kind of quite light um, and a little bit um, quite, quite complimentary to, to wings. So we're just going to pour ourselves a glass and we'll be right back. Right, so we've got the Cavesa de Burro. Um, it's uh, uh, color wise a little little cloudy like um but this sort of beer should in theory pair quite well with, yeah. with wings so we haven't tried it yet but we'll we'll find out so uh let's, let's get a wing out shall we and uh so get on so i'm going to take a little little bite here so just standard hot wings buffalo wings um mm -mm. right so we've enjoyed our our wing each um time time for a beer i think How do you want to describe that? That's it's it's lager-ish, yeah. but it's got a bit of a more of a hop um, note to it than than um, some some sort of like more European lagers and pilsners. Um, it's it's complementary to the wings. It's not overtaking the the heat or the the flavour or the sweetness of the meat. Um, it's it's quite a light beer, but uh, yes. with a bit of a hop note, which is which is nice. Yeah, it's, it's got quite a. Uh, almost neutral flavor it's not like a yeah it's not overtaking it's just um this is nice and chilled as well so it's that kind of hot versus cold yeah. um sort of refreshing element as well so when you because our wings can be a little kind of greasy if you will um and that to me kind of just offsets quite nicely so when it comes to pairing beer with hot food at the end of the day there is no real right or wrong in my opinion if you've got a beer that you really like then drink that beer there's it's that straightforward but if you've got a broader palate like you and i have then do you know what i mean people like beer 52 are great for the purpose of you, you can just kind of broaden your palate and try loads of great things so we're gonna um we're gonna move on to a, another beer uh, and uh, another bit of food and see how we get on Okay, so uh, one of our other favourite foods, go-to foods for us, is steak. So we've got a, a chipotle rubbed uh, steak. Just chipotle seasoning, job done. Bit of rub, nice and rare, because that's how we both like yeah. our, our meat. We'd rather it be still walking if we could. Um, and the one we're going to select to go with this, it's an absolute classic for steak for me, and that is the Baltic Porter. So Coffee Gorilla Baltic Porter. Uh, again, this is an Estonian uh, beer from Beer 52. And uh, we're just going to pour ourselves a glass and uh, we'll be back in a second. Right, so we've got our uh, porter ready to go. Uh, first things first, I think we get stuck in a bit of steak yeah. and then uh, we'll talk about the porter in a second. All yours, dude. Oh, look at this. Right, so um, chipotle steak, uh, char grilled, just a bit of chipotle, so a bit of smoke in there as well. And um, let's get on with the, the porter and then we'll, we'll have a little chat. Oh, it smells fantastic. It's lovely as well. Oh my. That's <laughs> really smooth. That's delicious. Mm. That and steak. Steak and porter hold up against each other. 
and that's the reason we paired it um, with this. So uh, fairly strong at around about 7% ABV, uh, but it works an absolute gem for me. So um, the, the nice things with porters is that they have these um, sort of roasted toasted um, malts um, with a little bit of hot bitterness about them sometimes, which kind of separates them from stout slightly on, on, on that level. But, 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 but I, you, I find really recently with like a lot of the porters is this is those particular flavors are really really strong this is nice and smooth and really really enjoyable it is it's um it's a great mouthfeel mm. as well and again you normally associate i always associate mouthfeel more with like stout than than porter but that's incredibly smooth it's very silky um great flavor and again to, to work do, do you like with the steak i mean yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic for me the, the two are just made for each other um again you know nothing wrong with any of the other beers that we've got here that might work with the steak if you've got your own preference but for me um porter and a steak are just a match made in heaven so that's um that's that so we're going to be back in a second with just one last uh one last meal or a bit of food to try excuse me <laughs> and we'll see you in a sec Right, so finally, um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna open some pork crackling or pork rinds to our US friends. Uh, this actually came free with the or as part of the Beer Fifty Two case. So you get this. You also get um, the Ferment magazine as well. Uh, so it isn't a case of just sort of eight beers for twenty four quid. It's also um, uh, a, a, like a bar snack, if you yeah. will. Um, uh, the Ferment magazine, and of course, and delivery is free actually when you um, sort of continue to subscribe at twenty four pounds. So we're going to try it with the. Uh, we're going to have some pork crackling. Um, actually, let's get motion. Let's just let's do it. Um, open these up pub style. So open them up on the table so your mates can share. Do you not to do? Now the beer that we're going to pair with this is if we can find it this one so this is a cloudberry saison um saison literally translates to season uh this is a little um little higher in alcohol than uh kind of more traditional uh saisons they tended to be quite low sort of around about three and a half or below uh but this is five percent uh but the reason we're pairing it with the pork scratchings is saison um tends to have like a fruity uh almost like spice no and and pork we're experimenting with both fruits and spices okay. very, very well. So we're going to pour ourselves a glass. We'll be right back in a second. Right, so we're going to get stuck into a bit of uh, pork scratching. So um, nice, uh, typical British snack, this. Salty. Delicious, crunchy, not very good for you, but brilliant with the beer. Again, if you were going for stouts and porters, what you can do that. Um, uh, they're a little bit too kind of conflicting. Yeah. Porters a bit of light to me, plenty of salt. Right, let's uh, let's give this uh, say some a go. Yeah, so it's got that sort of fruity, yeah, fruity note, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, isn't it ever? Oh, yeah. It's almost like you've got like um like a fruit squash in a in a really like alcoholic drink. It's almost a bit of like it's yeah, fruit right? pie in there. Yeah. It's almost like a bit of like spice and pastry and god, oh, that's that's really good. But yeah, that that the pork together, that's just a match. Again, that's lovely. Yeah, it's um. It's not necessarily what you might call crisp, but it's a clean yeah. taste. It's a fruity taste. Um, it's it's absolutely made for it as well. Um, yeah, and that that with like even like chili peanuts as well, uh, something like that will work extremely well for me. So, uh, as we're saying, when it comes to pairing beer with food, it's kind of what you like. That's that's our opinion. Yeah. Um, yes, you can you can look at beer to temper or accentuate, uh, or you can look at trying pairing. But again, it's what works for your palate, of course, as well. So we, we've been trying these beers from Beer52. Again, the link's on your screen. Um, if you want to check them out, please do so. The link's in the video description below as well. And uh, as I say, you can get your first case uh, for free. Just pay £5.95 postage, but you are entering into a subscription service. So you get a case every month for £24, including delivery, which includes around about eight beers and um, the, the magazine and the snack. So 
Um, that's, actually, that's pretty good value for yeah, money. Yeah. That's, that's like three pound a beer if you don't even account for the, the snack and the, the, the magazine. So it's it's kind of even less than three pound a beer. Um, for something that's really interesting and, and exciting as well. So they're not everyday off the shelf supermarket style beers. You can get you know these these are sought out. These are looked for worldwide. And on this occasion, we've got like a Baltic sort of this thing, yeah, Finland, and, yeah which, which is great. So. Um, if you want any further tips on how to pair beer and chili together, you can just drop us a line, drop us a comment um, below in the video. We'll put description, uh, so we'll put the Beer52 link there as well, so feel free to use that. And uh, yeah, just as we say, please drink responsibly, um, use beer for enjoyment and not for being silly. And uh, yeah, I, I think um, we're going to, you know, over the next few days, we're probably going to tuck into some of these and... And try them with other yeah. uh, hot foods because hot food is our life <laughs> and off we go um, we really hope that we we'll see you somewhere along the line on the next video please feel free to share subscribe uh, like and click the bell button, button. Click the bell button as well so um thank you for watching guys we'll see you on the next video cheers for now